Hi, I'm Jen Hogan, and I'm a science teacher at Berea Academy, and I get to teach nature science to kindergarten through third graders this year from 11 to 12 on Thursdays. Your student can take this class all by itself or as part as of the bigger Wonder and Explore enrichment program we've developed for kindergarten through third graders on Thursdays. Don't tell the other teachers, but for this nature science class, we get the best classroom at Southgate. The other kids get a couple hundred square feet, but we get the whole property as our classroom. We have fields and woods and trees and a little wet spot where we can look for frogs. So it's going to be a lot of fun to explore this whole environment with all the different habitats that, and all the li living things that live there. And I have another secret to share with you. I'm not actually the teacher for this class. Nature itself is the teacher, along with the student's curiosity and wonder. You put those two together and it's a powerful educational experience. Actually, okay, I am the teacher in the sense that I have the lesson plans worked out and activities and resources and games and specific things to focus on in nature. And I am the teacher because there are things I want to teach the children about how to pay attention to nature. For example, we're going to spend a whole day and a little bit of every day after that learning to how to use our ears like a deer and listen carefully for anything that might be a sign of danger or something of interest to them. We're going to put that to work and run around and chase each other like bats chasing after moths just by using our sense of hearing. We're going to quiet way down and use our sense of hearing all by itself to capture more sounds than we ever thought we could hear at one time. So we're gonna we're gonna learn a lot by paying attention to the master teacher. We're gonna get ready just like the animals as it gets colder in the fall to move indoors and find a warm place. We're gonna gather just like the animals do, figure out how we're gonna stay warm. We're going to use the books that we're using in Tales for Learning later each day. All of them deal with animals or with people like Almanzo Wilder who spent so much time outside and has so much to teach us. We're going to use that to help us open up to nature too. So if you're a family who loves to get outdoors and you go hiking and camping on the weekends and you want your child to have an extension of that and to understand that their love for nature and your love for nature are a great part of their education, then this would be a great class for your child. If you have one of those children who loves to get, out sore, get outside far more than you do and is always dragging in sticks and feathers and bugs and things you're not quite sure what they are, then this is a good class for your child too because it's one where we'll honor their curiosity and their playfulness and show them that they're learning through all that curiosity that they have. And if you're a mom who would love to get your child to be more interested in nature, but it's the 19th thing on your to-do list each day is to get them engaged in being outside. And this is a good class for your student too. We'll work gently with each child in where they are and what they're comfortable with and help them to open up more and more to how much the world around them has to teach them. So I hope to see your child in our class this fall.